put I was probably just barely into this bird watching game. Oh, okay. So there we go. And uh, I saw an eastern towhee. Uh, that happens to be a western towhee on the picture, uh, there on the picture on the left. And uh, it was hopping around on the ground outside of an office window. I was at ground floor. It's tinted window, so I was looking right out. It was four feet from me. And I seen this bird hop around. Said, oh, my goodness, that's a nice-looking bird. What is it? And I was trying to figure it out, and I didn't have a bird book with me at the time. So I went home and started looking. So it's got a dark back. It's got an orange front. What is it? Well, unfortunately, there's the Orchard Oreo. <laughs> huh. Same kind of looking bird. And then there's a robin even. Very similar look. So which one was it? And like I said, familiarity is key here. I just started doing this, and I was having a really hard time with that. Finally, I figured it out, getting a better look at the bird, and thinking about what the bird's doing. The towhee was on the ground, scratching around like a big sparrow, jumps out, two legs straight back, scratched like a chicken in a way, and it jumps back and looks. The Oriole would not be doing that. It's, okay. it's not going to be digging in the ground looking for insects or seeds. And, of course, the robin is not going to do that either. It's going to be walking around looking yeah, with his head cocked to one around, side yeah. and grabbing an insect. Yeah. So behavior tells you a lot. Yeah. But when you first start, some of this is very difficult. Yeah. Give it time. Give it patience. Learn the little things. It'll be a lot easier later.